Hello, happy crafters. Today is the last day of the five days of Easter Collab um, wrap up. And this is hashtag five days Easter 2022. I just want to show you um, the, this was started by uh, Kara Brandon and Dear Julie Julie. And there's more links on YouTube using this hashtag. And I really enjoyed being part of this. This was the first time I've done this. And it was fun. So let me just show you my journal um, that I made. Um, so right off the, the bat, I did add a little bit of lace um, to the, the top of this. Um, and right off the bat, we have the pen clip I made. Um, so right here handy and ready to go. Um, I normally like to use different kinds of papers in my, um, in my journals, but this has so many gorgeous papers that I just have gone with pretty much just as papers. It's a two signature journal, um, and I'm not going to point out everything, but you'll see some of the, the things that I made before, um, on the different days. Uh, with this uh, fold-out tag. Um, this page, I just sewed the top and the bottom and the center and clipped them out to make two pockets. I did that several places. Um, and again, you can see some of the places I've done. This is just an envelope um, that's put in there for journaling. Um, a lot of the pages are blank for uh, journaling pages and things, um, but I think it turned out really pretty. Um, here, a white page on the back, and I made this cute little um, window envelope. If you pull it out, you've got this lovely lady here. And um, and then I have the card, journaling card, to go back in. There we go. Trying to make sure you can see all the pages of it. Um, this was the little tuck we made on one of the days, a little journaling inside. Um, these papers are just gorgeous. Can you see this one has um, folds out on the back um, with journaling here. I may add a little bit to cover up that tape, but for right now it's fine. Um, look at these gorgeous, gorgeous papers. A little corner in here on one of the white pages. This is the one the fold up we made. Have a little bit of secret journaling there if you'd like. Um, I added some beads to the center of the signatures. That was kind of fun. If you don't know how to add beads to your string, just take um, the tip of it and put a little glue on it and put it into a point and you can thread the beads on very easily then and just tie a knot on the bottom to hold them in place. So here we have this is a tuck spot for a card. A lot of this is printed on like uh, a card stock, a textured card stock. Hmm. Let me get back and, and cut that out. That's just to cover up the, the paper. Another tuck spot there. Um, okay, here we have um, a pocket with a double pocket here because there's you can tuck things behind the girl and then we also have a card here and then just some decoration on the top. Um, okay. Here we have two more of the fold out tuck spots and here we have the full page tuck again with a, a journaling card on the back. Okay. This is our little corner tucks that we made one of the days. And here again, a double tuck there and one here. And this also has a pocket. So lots of journaling spots on those cards as well as on the pages. Um, once again, this was one of the things that we made in one, on one of the days. I don't remember which days I made which things. But using both Kara's and Julie's kits to decorate them. We have another spot here. So sometimes I glue some paper or something there. Sometimes it's just a, I just um, use distress ink and put it on. So here, this is that full page that we did with um, 
all the fold out um, tags on them um, just glued in place and then over here we have uh, one of these corner tucks on the um, collage page from Kara and again this is a big tuck spot but I went ahead and ducked two of these cards in them these journaling cards in them so lots of options here I do like the corner tuck um, this one folds down uh, for more journaling space there and I think this paper you can write on um, and this is a top corner tuck now, some of these, I increased the um, transparency when I was printing them out to make them a little lighter. It makes kind of a nice um, misty effect on them, which I like. Again, another one of the fold-outs that we made during one of the days. And um, it just tucks nicely into this pocket. So, double pockets again here. Here we have a belly band. Um, just a piece of paper folded. I fold it to add strength and with the file folders um, that we made. Um, so I did put a couple of music sheets in here. I just, I love to use music paper in the, in my journals. Um, okay. I may go back and add some more things. So we have a bottom and a top corner tuck on this. Um, and the striped paper can work as journaling paper, journaling spots. So that was just some paper I had around that was in the right colors, so I decided to use them. Again, this is the uh, increased transparency when I'm printing, so it gives a real light effect. Um, this is one of the extra pages sewn in three spots to the collage page. Um, and with um, some of the the cards from Dear Julie, Julie, the postcards from her, I think that's from her antique Easter kit. Okay, so lots of spots for journaling. Here I just use the music paper as kind of an edge on this paper um, as a, a tab sticking out and also a little border. I thought that was a nice effect. Here we have another... Um, fold out could be used for journaling and it also serves as a tuck spot there and on the back we have another belly band with some fun things tucked behind it this is another one of those uh, cards that um, has a um, some journaling spots inside and then the cutout here is used as to hold it closed okay so that's it. Um, I'm glad you were part of this, and I appreciate the fact that I was part of it and um, had a good time doing this. So thanks very much for watching my videos. Um, I hope to do more of these sometime in the future, and I'll see you then.